Well, lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgy J Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. So, okay, so the first part was a bit explosive. Well, it got, got a bit explosive at the end, where Alex here just wailed on what was his name? Max? Mac? Yeah, Mac. Because apparently, th this dude thought our brother Gabe was hitting on his girlfriend, which is not the case, I hope. We hope, I, th I think. Anywho, let's get right into the nitty gritty. Ooh, get dressed. So we can select different outfits, can we? Free thing, is this? Oh, it's a shirt. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're... They're entire outfits. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, we've uh, mastered that now. What about this photo? No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Only kind of an asshole. Oh, okay, so tough upbringing. Yikes. Anyway, let's just get a quick look around here. We've got... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We've got lots of cool things. We've got a bike. We've got a foosball table. Huge ass TV. Everything we need. Hell, even weights. In case we need to get them gains. Is that a sword? Eh, uh, somewhat of a sword. We'll be lucky if we could uh, cut through butter. Either way, let's get unpacked. We need to make progress in this episode. Unpack shoe shoe. What's a shoe shoe? Oh god. Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. Aww. She's got so me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Oh no, Shoo Shoo's cute. We've seen things, haven't we, Shoo Shoo? Well, she's definitely uh, seen things. What else? Oh, the comic we, we got off... Uh, Ethan's really talented. Yes, Ethan. The tunnel to this monster stronghold of Donaheim collapsed. I think that that's what it says. I, I, I can barely read it. I'll have to find another way. The uniform of the city guard. Long dead from the looks of it. Wait, blood? The trail seems to end here, unless... Hollow. Ah, he must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret end. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent. But you may still be of use to me. Yeah, and he just climbs on it. Okay, cool. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. Okay, cool. Coolio. Good read. Oh, and letters. Jeez, how much you've packed away in one bag. Are these all from Gabe? Gibbus horse? Okay, let's just take a quick look see through them. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she can I really wish those meds had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Okay, letters from friends of long ago. Don't have time for any of that nonsense. Aww. Crazy how much we've changed. But what happened to our parents? Did they die or what? I'm guessing that was probably explained earlier on and I probably paid zero attention to it. Oh, we've my got journal. a journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Is 
So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. Okay. Miss Leeds, your application for CIT's 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed, and we are pleased to inform you that you've been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch with you in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Yes! She's going to college. She's going to an Ivy League college. Okay, it might mean Ivy League college, but it's still college. Okay, Mac and Anger. Now... I can I read this in text format, or does it have to be in journal format? That's a hell of a lot of reading. Okay, I'll try and get through this as fast as possible. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door, like something was slipping under the frame. Something red, something raw. Then there's Mac, and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control, and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone and it's going to happen and no one can make me stop. Mac's anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Thought of her with someone else, thought of her with anyone else, it was under his skin, burning. That feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs, it's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from a humming to lazy jackhammer. It's such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? These threads that bind us up, they burn red and weave. Inside my ribs, they hurt until you leave. Okay, so she's a bit of a poet and she didn't know it. Cool. So people's moods, people's feelings, they affect Look. her own feelings as well. I'll finish this later. Okay, good idea. Oh. One, two. We have a guitar as well. Nice. Aw. No fucking way. Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. Gee. Oh, oh, he's the best big brother ever. I'd actually like to get myself an acoustic guitar. Even though I can't play for shit. Yeah, that's well out of tune. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. Time to write so, a song about it. How are you feeling right now? Pretty damn good. When you were here before, could look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Skin makes me cry You float like a feather Sing like a bee Beautiful world Oh, never mind I wish I was special You're so very special I'm a creep I'm a weasel What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want So very special 
God, I wish I was special. But I'm not really. I'm only a soul. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Oh, that's not what I was gonna said. Talk about beating herself up over beating someone else up. It's too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. Yeah, just spirit. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Okay, okay, but first one more quick look see around here. I want to take a look at the video game console. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Oh, it's Ethan's. Oh, okay, no wonder why there's a childish game called Dino Racer here. Okay. It is called Dino Racer, right? Must be Ethan's. Yeah. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. I don't know, because uh, what happens to me is sometimes I, I read things too fast and end, and end up completely forgetting to process what, what they actually say. I process things way too fast, or a lot more faster than my mind can actually handle. And that's where my speech impediment comes from sometimes. Like, I don't actually take time to slow down. I just rush through things. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, <laughs> looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Yeah. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. Just a little punch to the face. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Now well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Don't worry, I'll take over a few shifts. Might know how to make booze I yet, but that. I can try. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? I'd say rising along with that uppercut I give my own brother. Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. Cooler than Gabe? But does he think I'm cooler than Gabe? I'd say you have a shot. Gabe plays dirty, though. Like, he secretly teaches Ethan to swear. <laughs> By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope he won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Mm -hmm. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. Uh, I see, Jed, going. you're a very wholesome I'm person. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep.
Right, Jet, give me a shot of whiskey. Powers, if you have it, please. No? No drink? Okay. Oh, we've got more arcade games. Look, there's Steph. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Mm hmm. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh. Sure, why not? Uh, should I go with. Yeah, I'll go with Gabe's story. Maybe not as long as that. But yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. Well, hell yeah. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Yep, already met her. There's a table in the back that needs clearing also. Okay. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Okay, starting off small. Really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Yeah, it's so nice to be here. I mean, look, this place looks chill. I'm on the server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Like, I've never once been to America. I want to go to America at, at some point, but things are a little crazy over there at the moment, especially since 2016 or, or whatnot, and the years of Trump. I mean, like, the gun violence there is unreal. Sorry to any American people I might offend, but it's true. And yes, we do have gun violence here in some parts of the country, Kind of mostly centralized in Dublin, but not really where I'm from. Once you get used to how they operate. Okay, right. either way, either way. Uh, uh, enough talking about my own personal life. Let's talk to uh, Ducky and Diane. So which one is Ducky, which one is Diane? I'm assuming you're Diane. Hey, Diane. Looking good. I like the long hair. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Oh, you know about me. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? That's good. Perfect. It's nice. I didn't really know Point what tonight. to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know. I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. And my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Okay, hey, cool. Our first order. Oh, I forgot to check my phone as well. That's Charlotte's dispensary. She seems cool. Okay, first person to finish the lyrics gets 10% off their next Silver Dragon purchase. Now I've got to... Uh, I've got to love... So, wait, 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 what? Oh, that's the lyric. Sorry, my mind wandered there for a second. Now I've got a love so deep in the pit of my heart. Yada, yada, yada. I, I, I have no idea how to finish it. If you're not 21 yet, this post isn't for you. Fuck if I know. And each day it grows more and more. Babe, we've talked about this. Boyfriends are not allowed to participate in give giveaways. Right. So, the Silver Dragon is a weed shop. Lovely. Love it. I, 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 I mean... How dare you, game? How, how dare you corrupt the minds of the young? How dare you hey, corrupt Dad. my mind? Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Uh, burger... Wait... 
Did he say burger with mushrooms or did he say cheeseburger? Oh god, I forget. Uh, I'm just going to say burger with, with, with... Burger with mushrooms. One burger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. He might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. I mean, this place is kind of big. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this. Oh, but let's take a look at these photos first. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Okay, cool. I know where it is. God, I really miss these games. I know there's something about them, something special. All like right. it's not. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. I mean, it's not just the story. It's not just the characters. It's not just the music. It's something else. And like when I was younger, I used to be so critical of episodic games like this. Like when I first heard about like. The Walking Dead, uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead, and I saw it was episodic. I was immediately like, "No, it's a terrible game. It shouldn't be episodic. It's a rip off. I don't like it." I was so negative, and yet here we are, a few years later, I'm playing episodic games. I haven't played the Telltale's Walking Dead series yet. I want to play it, but I, but here here's the weird thing about me. Here's the weird thing. I'm stuck in a very hard place. Between just buying it on Steam and having a, a digital copy or buying it on Amazon and having a physical copy. Because I love having physical copies of games. It's just so something I like to, to have in my collection, something I like to show off. Like like right above me, right above my head, I have a good few physical copies of games that are limited editions. I have Resident Evil 2 Steelcase, The Last of Us Part 2 Steelcase, Final Some Fantasy 7. fell asleep on Gabe's couch last night. I should okay. check there. Thanks for telling me that. Final Fantasy VII Remake Limited Edition. It's in a bit of a thick case. The Mafia Trilogy. And again, uh, that's a bit of a collector's edition. King of Hearts Three Collector's Edition or Limited Edition. So Steel Case and what whatnot. God of War Limited Edition. Red Dead Redemption Two Limited Edition. All of these games, all limited editions. Okay, okay. Enough talking about games and what and whatnot. I have to find out whiskey. It's right in front of me. I think. No. Isn't this the couch you're supposed to be on? Ha! Oh, there's still some in it. Mockery Hill Straight Rye Whiskey Small Batch 100% Proof. I found this upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Definitely. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. <laughs> Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Oh my god, Ducky, I like you already. Oh, 
Ooh, that definitely hits different, does it? Jed, give me the old stink eye. Mm, shouldn't be drinking on the job there, Alex. Mm hmm. Bad for business. Shit. Whoa. Now Max scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Wonder what will happen if I talk to him. Can I talk to him? Hey, Mac. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Somebody beat up your pretty face. Think we can still be friends? No? Okay. There was another uh, area I was supposed to clean up. I thought it was here, was it not? Oh, just spent three coupons, yes! For weed? What a time to be alive. Oh, I would love those coupons. Wait, shouldn't I be cleaning this area up here? No? I, I, I thought it was this area, did he not specifically point to- Yes, here we go. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? I suppose you can. What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Oh, okay, so what's your point? Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you want me to lie? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. No, it's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! about why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there too? Yes. Hmm, avoid for trouble or call out Max bullshit. See, I'm not sure if I avoid further trouble, do I lie or do I just not acknowledge it? Hmm. So I think I'll just avoid further trouble. Just go with that option. Yeah, I was there. But, um,. I need to get back to work. Okay, so we're not exactly lying. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh... We'll get out of your way. 
can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just get so worked up thinking of you with him. But you shouldn't, you jealous bitch, baby. Alex Chen? <gasps> uh, I'm so under arrest. You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. What? What about Mac? Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> ah, no, he's joking. <laughs> you should see your I face. thought so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Uh, nobody's in trouble here. Right? <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. I had an idea. I had an idea that, that was the case. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? Oh, sure. I could do with another drink. Yeah, you guys good? Wanna portion your chips? Fries? Whiskey? No? Okay. What about you, my two dudes? You good? Yeah? Okay, cool. You two lovers? You alright? Need more fries? I have some advice. Hey, Duckerella. Oh, you minor! I, I I can't talk to him. Oh, and Step, hey Step, how you doing? I've been wanting to talk to you for ages. Ooh, shot. That looks radioactive. Hey, girl, how you doing? Alex, right? I'm Step. Hey. Just. Seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Okay, sure, why not? But let's see who she's sitting with. So are you um here with somebody? Or that's Ryan's stuff. Apparently, he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get Aww. first aid. Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved... I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. <laughs> Sorry, Aww. Jed. Spoil sports. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Ooh. Interesting. And is that your shot? Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song. Guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Uh, no thanks. No. No thanks. <laughs> that shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Sure, will do. And what are you working on? Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I do, and I have zero interest in it. I had zero interest in that stuff in Life is Strange Before the Storm, and I've even less interest in it now. Sure. Live action roleplay, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? 
Uh, I'm not much of an actor, no. Um, it sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. Okay, I gotta get back to work. I no. should get back to work. I don't want to do okay. any of that LARP stuff. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. There you have it. Hey, Jedediah. Pour me a drink, will you? Up with everything you want to do? Uh, wait, not yet. Actually, not yet. I just want to confirm this guy's order. For, whether, whether he wanted a cheeseburger or, or what? My dad was in the service. Okay, never mind. Okay. Right, Are Jed, done I'm now? done. Yep. Don't yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Took the words right out of my damn mouth. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? I took your jib. We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Oh. Okay. I think that's enough for today. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before, but you got a ways to go. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Wait, did I get somebody's order for we'll orders? Orders? Orders wrong? Okay. What the hell? I'm, I'm kidding myself Time here. To talk to Gabe. Oh man, I almost killed myself stumbling over that sentence. I couldn't even say order. Well, I wasn't sure what I wanted to say: order, ordered, or orders. Okay. So let's have a heart to heart, Gabe, shall we? Yeah, I just love the overall color and vibrance of this game. It's definitely a lot, how to say, stronger than the first one or the second game. Definitely a better color palette than the second game. Okay, so how's the face? How's your jaw? Pain bad? He is in a very bad mood. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... What do you mean by what? <laughs> Did you rehearse that Did move? Did you rehearse that move? No. <laughs> Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. It was only love tap. Now that we're talking about it. Guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Maybe. Wait, didn't you go to Juvie for kicking people's asses before? Didn't you go to Juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. 
That was the hardest time of my life. Some days of that. I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? No, tell him you have superpowers. And tell him about your past or tell him about your power. No, screw it. I'll tell him about my power. Why not? Let's see how this goes. Do you believe me or will you just think I'm crazy? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you, he was angry at himself. He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? Uh, just a hunch, really. No, no one told me that. I just feel it. Wait, 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 Gabe. You're not planning on making a move on her, are you? Don't be like that. You sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? Uh, it doesn't work like that. Right now, I think you're a bit conflicted. It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> More like a super curse. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong it's just i have no idea what's going on with people half the time charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence but this this is on another level you can get in there i mean that's that's really special special question mark what's so special about special. it it's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. 
Don't forget that. Oh, you're the best big brother ever. Come on, bring it in. Or the cheers will do. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? Absolutely Delora with it. I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... He's gone to the mine. Maybe. Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Uh-oh. This sounds like trouble. Oh my god, you stupid kid! Oh no, the gate's locked. How the hell do we get Ethan? in? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex! Oh, he found a spot. Good for you. since I was up here. Okay, how worried should we be? Like, are they doing the explosions this evening or what? Should I be... I don't know... freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? We'll touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on. Let's take a look around. Okay, we can do that. But I want to wrap this video up. That's good. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? <laughs> He'd beat her asses. Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that? How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? But no, skating the mountain. Who knows? Oh wait, look, there's another gate in there. Maybe, maybe he squeezed past it or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know these things. These things I do not know. But one thing I do know is I want to end this video here. It's been kind of short. So if you've seen any of my other Life is Strange videos, you should probably be familiar with it. I do each episode in about three parts. It's always been three parts, but with a new title like this, with a new game like this, it's 
probably going to be four parts per episode because I'm assuming this game is going to be a hell of a lot longer than the previous two or three games that were out before. So yeah, either way so far, I'm loving the game, loving the characters, loving the background, loving the story, loving everything about it, the music, the colour palette, everything. It's totally new, totally different. It's on next-gen, sorry, current-gen consoles now. And it's looking good. It's looking very good, very promising. And of course, again, I love the recurring character of Steph. Glad to see a familiar face from the first Life is Strange game. But I would love to see a reference or hear about a reference to Max and Chloe as well. Or maybe even a reference about the Diaz brothers from Life is Strange 2. That would be very cool. It would tie it in a very neat bow for me. Because that's all I want to see. Some little references or nods here and there. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So, guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and, of course, like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.